guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If you are new, hi, my name is Shivana. This is my YouTube channel. I make like lifestyle, travel, and recently a lot of fashion style videos on this channel. So two days ago, I went thrifting and I got a bit of things. <laughs> yeah. Um, some of them are pretty good finds. Some of them I got because I think it would look cute if I were to crop them or change them up a little bit so like a thrift flip type of thing, which I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to try it all on for you. So the first place that I went was a local thrift store and it was really cool because everything without a price um, in their clothing racks was $1. And then the things that were marked with the price were the marked price. Um, so I found quite a bit of things there and I think I spent like $22 there and I got a total of six items which is really pretty bomb. Although they weren't super full racks, I did end up going through every single rack they had including the children's and the men's. Um, I find that if you look through the men's section, you actually find some like graphic t-shirts and such. Yeah, that's a good tip. I also found a few just married shirts and a lot of blood donation shirts, which was kind of interesting to me. And then after that, I went to a local consignment shop. Consignment shops are great. This one reminded me of Plato's Closet a lot. And I love Plato's Closet. But after going to the thrift store and then going to this place, I was like, oh, these prices are more. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I like the, the $1 clothing, not gonna lie. But I ended up getting two pieces of clothing and I spent a total of $12 at the consignment shop. They had very nice things. I found a pair of Adidas pants that I really wanted but they didn't fit me and I was really sad about it but it's, it's okay. So if you've never been thrifting before, I would totally recommend it because one, it's really inexpensive. Two, it's fun. You never know what you're gonna find. And lastly, you're recycling clothing, so you're not contributing to clothing mills and things like that, you're just using secondhand clothing. So yeah, I think it's a great way to not only save money but help the environment and lots of other things. And like I said, you can find really cool stuff at the thrift store. I've been watching a ton of thrifting videos recently and honestly, People find such good stuff there, like what? Anyway, so I'm excited to do more thrifting in the future. So stay tuned, I'll make more videos. Anyway, I'm sure you guys just wanna see the haul. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I got from the thrift store was this great pullover. It's like a knitted material almost, and it has a zipper in the front. Originally, I was planning to crop it, but I have kind of decided against it now that I've worn it. But this was one of the marked items at the thrift store, so it was $8 instead of $1, which, I mean, isn't too bad. The second thing I got from the thrift store was this red turtleneck. It's like a regular shirt, and this one I do want to crop, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. This one was one of the $1 items, and I think it's very cute. I like the color but I do want to crop it, so I am going to do that right now. I think that cropping it gives it a new look, style. I'm very happy with the way it came out, so. And it was only a dollar. So like if you cropped it incorrectly or something, then like it's okay. Yeah. So the next thing I got from the thrift store, another $1 item, was this sweater. It's just like a blue purple sweater that I also wanted to crop, but I think with a sweater you have to be a little bit more careful when it comes to that because you can pull a string and unravel the whole entire sweater. So. I don't, maybe I will cut it and sew a seam into it, I don't know. Let me know down below what you think and yeah. So this is just like a very basic sweater and again it was only a dollar so I was like hmm, why not. The next thing I picked up from the thrift store for only one dollar was this t-shirt. It's a little bit long, I think I picked it up in the men's section. But I do want to crop it and then roll the sleeves and I think it would just look really cute. Oh, 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 oh,
I really love the graphic, I just love graphic tees in general, and this shirt is all cotton, which was a great find for a dollar. The okay, next thing I found was this, like, oversized, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a jean jacket vibe, but it's much softer material, and I'm not really sure what to call it, but I think it's very cute. I think it came from the men's section because it's a medium size, and it's very large on me. <laughs> it's very soft and it's actually pretty warm. I think that it's like a very casual flannel type of vibe. I don't know how to explain it, but I was really excited when I found it. Um, this one was one of the items that was price tagged, so it was also $8. So that's kind of annoying, but like I wanted it, so and here I am. With the right outfit, I think it could be really cute. And I just like the oversized fit on it. So the last thing I got at the thrift store was this dark blue pullover, which I also found in the men's section, and it is a medium. But it's very... It doesn't have any graphics or anything on it, which I might go ahead and use transfer paper to put a graphic on it. But in the meantime, I do want to crop it because it's a little bit long. Yeah, but it is very soft and warm and... I was really excited to find this. This one was also just $1, so a very good price item, good find, very happy. If any of you guys crop things often and know a better way of cropping them, please let me know in the comments down below because I am in no way saying that this is the best way to do this. And so this is the after. I didn't crop it as much as the other one, but I still like it. So I also went to a consignment shop and I got two items from there. The first one being this Billabong t-shirt that I found in the men's section. It was $6. Um, I was originally going to crop it, but I don't think I'm going to because I can kind of tuck it into things and change it up or just kind of tie a knot in it. I just think this is like a fun t-shirt. I really am enjoying graphic tees recently, so really love that. So the last thing I got at the consignment shop and actually from this entire haul was this little cream sweater cream can. And honestly when I picked it up I thought it was a sweater dress, but it's just it's just a little short for that. So it's just like an oversized sweater, but I do think it looks good with leggings and it was $6 at the consignment shop, which isn't bad either. It's really good quality. It's an Abercrombie and Finch sweater, so that's nice. It has a nice turtleneck thing here, which is cool, and it's comfortable and it's warm, so I'm happy with it. That was everything I got from the thrift store and the consignment shop. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, again, a couple of them I did a little thrift flip magic on, and so I hope you guys liked that. And let me know if you guys want to see more thrift hauls. I probably will do them anyway, because I kind of want to go thrifting again and again and again and just spend all my money there. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been thrifting or if you want to go thrifting. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on more of my videos. I've been posting every single week on Saturdays, so I don't know. I'm not saying this is like a schedule, but that's what's been happening, so just, I guess, stay tuned for Saturdays. <laughs> and yeah. Feel free to follow me on my social media, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.